This is where the micro hydro shed is going. So it's going to be in the basement of an A-frame. So we've got a bunch of gravel and some old railroad ties. And we're going to throw them in the bottom. We're going to do a six by eight shed. So we're just going to level and uh, build a little foundation. There she is. We built our walls for the basement of the powerhouse where the micro tur micro hydro turbine is going to be. Um, we just built them so eight feet long, six feet wide. So we'll have a little box down there. It's all pressure treated wood, pretty standard walls. We just have them tilted up drying right now because we're about to put uh, blue skin on them. That hole right there is where the pipe is going to enter the basement. And so and we just have this adhesive here. We're going to paint this adhesive on, let it dry, and then put blue skin on the outside of the sheeting. And that should hopefully waterproof it forever. <laughs> So the walls have been blue skinned. They look pretty good. We found that it worked well if one person held it hot at one end and the other person took the adhesive off and kind of stuck it down. Uh, there doesn't seem to be too many air bubbles or anything in them, which is great. The only problem we ran into is we were using leftover blue skin and we ran out. <laughs> so I have to go grab some tomorrow to finish this last wall and then we can bring them all over and drop them in the hole. But yeah, looks pretty good so far. So we just finished putting on PL300 onto the back of the foam board. So this is gonna go four feet down on top of our walls to hopefully prevent the frost from getting into the basement. So that's the PL300 on top. And it says we just need to flip it over, rub it around, take it off, let it set, and then replace it. So we're gonna do that and hopefully we got form, foam on top of the blue skin. We have three of the four walls over at our site now. Um, they've been blue skinned and foam. The foam's been glued. So this is about three and a half inch foam with R13 value. And that's going down the wall, the top four feet. So that'll hopefully keep the frost away from um, penetrating into the basement. We're gonna start with the, the wall that the pipe is going through you can see the pipes on a little bit of an angle when it comes through so we're going to kind of wrestle it through the hole that we made in the wall and then we'll try to straighten the pipe out so when it comes into the into the basement it's um nice and square and easier to work with and then from there we'll add on the other two walls and then we'll go get some more blue skin finish the fourth wall and put that one on So it took a little bit of wrestling with the pipe, but we did get it through the wall. It goes through here, through the foam, and then it comes out on that side there. It's a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit interesting to see how we can square it up so it comes out of the wall straight. But hey, first step complete.
and we just finished building the box of the basement. Uh, it turns out we're not quite good enough carpenters to uh, <laughs> to build the walls outside and then assemble them in the box between the overlapping plywood and foam and all these different bits and pieces. It's way harder to build outside and then put together, uh, but we eventually made it work. And now we're just putting on the floor joists and eventually the treated plywood will be the floor of the shed and then we'll put some foam insulation in the floor and then we'll be pretty well done with the basement and we'll have to build the shed on top. That's what I did. So before we finish backfilling around the whole powerhouse basement, we're basically there's a bunch of foam still kind of sticking out that you can see. We're gonna just make our own flashing that kind of goes from here down over top and then covers the foam and then comes down to about here. And that'll just keep any water that's running against the floor here. It'll keep it outside of the outside of the building there. So I'm gonna do the same thing, gonna paint it and then um, we're actually going to do some blue skin caulk, which goes on the top of the blue skin. You can kind of see uh, there's little, little spaces in the blue skin. So if any water gets in there, it'll just sit inside the blue skin. So you put some caulking in at the top of the blue skin to keep the water out. Then we'll do a layer of flashing. Then we'll caulk around the top of the flashing and that should hopefully water proof the whole, any water that's going to be coming down against the side of the building and uh, keep it out of the basement. So the resisto is on, the makeshift flashing. All that black stuff is the caulking. And that's to make sure that no water gets in behind the resisto. Some of the corners with all the different angles and stuff were a little bit tricky, so there's lots of caulking in the corners there, as you can see. But feel pretty good about it. Looks good. Happy with it. And uh, yeah, that should keep all the water out of out of the basement, running down the side of the wall on the styrofoam there. And so next, we're gonna backfill it and then dig the drain, which is coming out the back here. That's where, so after it goes through the turbine, it's going to come out the back and then head back to the creek. So I'll put that in, drill the holes for that, and we're getting there. shed that's gonna live on top of the powerhouse and I didn't really feel much of it because it doesn't have much to do with the micro hydro but it took me a couple days it was pretty fun um, the idea in the shape is that in the winter when it gets covered in snow it will kind of like support itself so hopefully I don't have to do much shoveling or anything the snow will it's so steep that the snow will just slide off of it um, and then pile up the sides evenly on, on both sides and it'll kind of like pressure the whole structure together and eventually it'll just get buried and that's fine with me. There is a little entrance way so that just makes it more accessible to get in in the winter so the snow doesn't just pile up uh, against the door there. So the that there we built little these little three foot pony walls that come out um, past where the actual powerhouse basement is and then so I'll kind of go in through a little door here 
and it's tall enough that I can stand up in it. Um, there's not a ton of headspace, but there's a nice big window to let lots of light in. It's kind of dirty right now, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is kind of, it'll be perfect, like a little shed. And then to get into the powerhouse is the door right there. I can't actually open it right now because the handle got ripped off during construction and I don't think I can pull that screw. But anyway, if you pull that screw up, you get into the basement there. So yeah, I just thought I'd show this uh, before I put the roof on. So you get a good look at it. Yeah, but one more, I'd say one more full day of working and this will be done. <laughs> Winter showed up last night and I got the shed on the roof yesterday. Just in time, thankfully. I didn't want to be doing the roof in the snow, but the snow definitely adds a little bit of uh, urgency, I guess, to the project. Uh, it's a nice little reminder to keep working because <laughs> I do want to get the water flowing before it gets too cold. But anyway, the roof is on the shed. It's, uh, it's done. It, I wouldn't say it's finished. It still needs a door and a couple like batten and some finishing touches, but the shed is finished and I managed to put uh, insulation. I don't know if you can see in the, no, not a chance. In the, in the bottom of the floor there underneath in the powerhouse. So I've left that off because it's getting quite a lot of condensation build up in there. Um, so I left that little thing off just so hopefully it continues to, to air out a bit and dry out. Uh, but anyway, this is done, which is super exciting because I can start to put the pipes together inside of it. And uh, that's what I might do today. <laughs> <laughs> 